Days 79 and 80 of the Young Thug YSL Rico trial were intense. Donovan Thomas, aka Peanut, was allegedly killed by Shannon Stilwell, who was in the courtroom. His mother testifies to his relationship with Thug and being a gang member. Yeah, things get pretty intense with Donovan Thomas's mother. Quick recap so you guys understand this whole murder. Everything the state alleges right here on January 7th, 2015, defendant Jeffrey Williams, an associate of YSL, did rent a 2014 Silver Infinity Q50 sedan from Hertz, which was used in the commission of the murder of Donovan Thomas. That's how they connect Thug to this because apparently it was in his name. Damika and Garlington explained that he was with Williams when he lent Jackson, Kendricks, McMullen, and Cobb the Infinity after he spotted Thomas standing outside the barber shop. So Kendrick is uh, Yakati, Jackson is Shannon Stilwell. On January 10th, 2015, at approximately 1922 hours, Shannon Jackson shot Donovan Thomas dead as he stood in the parking lot of a barber shop. Located at 330 McDaniel Street in Atlanta, Jackson fired his weapon from a motor vehicle as it passed by. Thomas's brother stood near Thomas at the time of his death and heard him utter his final words, which can consisted of thug had me killed i'm sure the defense lawyers will not let the jury hear that because i don't think the brother is going to testify it would be deemed out out of court statements or hearsay i would imagine but copeland denied participating in the death of thomas however six months after the homicide he admitted the lead detective jim thorpe that he saw jackson at a mcdonald's parking lot with fellow gang members Diam diamantry kendricks demise mcmullen and jason cobb immediately after the homicide copeland further advised that at the same time fellow ysl gang member demikian garlington told him that jackson kendricks mcmullen and cobb just murdered thomas so why so what he snitched essentially but who knows if it's the truth but yeah just want to give you all a quick backstory here's the uh, court footage for days 79 and 80. first look at thug on day 80 tie and dress shirt on i think he's about a yawn yep there's a yawn coming bro's tired as hell so this officer's just showing pictures of club crucial was he in charge with the possession yes mr kendrick's was because he was sitting the closest to it oh is this about yacht Gotti getting arrested with the gun that's all this is about state says that yacht Gotti and duke were in enemy territory with weapons and they got arrested with weapons that's what they say pretty much this is donovan thomas's mother donovan was one of the higher ups of inglewood family if gang they say thug and if gang were having a big beef but there's also evidence that they were friends at some point but who knows who it is that is depicted on stacy's did it three yankees um, that's my son, Donovan Thomas Jr. And did you call him Donovan Thomas Jr. Did you have another name for him? Yeah, we called him Peanut. And when was the last time you saw your child? The last time I saw my baby was. <laughs> what date you The date, um. Objection. January. There's an objection, but she's still talking. What's going on? I'll remove the objection, sir. Objections, I should say. Why is the audio f terrible today? It's like popping, and you can't hear the f defense lawyers at all. Yes, he attended Washington High School. Sure. Uh, let's get to it, Miss. Let's get to it. It's not. It's marginally relevant, so let's move on. And did Donovan have children? Yes, Donovan have two kids. Um, I sustained the objection. Yes, I spoke with him uh, January the 10th, 2015, that morning. What was afternoon? Two and four. I was at my flea market, and he called me. And what kind of vehicle did he drive? Um, he uh, drove a blue uh, Chevrolet 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe. And was he driving it the last time that you saw him? Yes. Point now his car because one of Thug's lyrics was "shot at your Tahoe" or something or. 100 rounds of your Tahoe or some shit. They're gonna connect Thug to it that way with the lyrics, which I completely disagree with. Whether he was anxious or apprehensive about anything. No, he was just his normal. Basis. Uh, that was Mr. Steele and Mr. Sharp. I sustain the objection. Thank you, Judge. He was the same happy go lucky self. Um, I always call him Jacob Mizzy, always did. Kind of moving toward the music industry. Basically, he was just an artist that he was just trying to bring into the music industry. And did that involve working with music artists? Yes. Are you familiar with um, a person by the name of Rayshawn Bennett? Or Yes, I am. Did you ever see your son interact with Gucci? Yes. Was Gucci one of the artists that your son worked with? Yes. What happened to your son? No, my son's death was a homicide. No, no, I was home. How did you find out your son had been harmed? I received a phone call. And how did your son die? Question, answer, answer. I sustained objection. Was he shot, stabbed, or something else? I sustained objection. No, she said homicide. She didn't say how. Did you lay your son to rest? Yes. Him? Yes, we did. When did you bury your son? Um, it was, to, uh, it was uh, January 17, 2000. 15. Was there ever a time where it was vandalized? Yes, it was vandalized. It was 2019. So this grave site, someone spray painted slat on it, I believe. It was Father's Day 2019. We drove up there. We uh, noticed that the grave site had been vandalized. And when I got out the car, something was spray painted uh, slat on his grave. And it was chiseled around the size of the headstone. Now the jury hearing this, it definitely can pull on their heartstrings. So this isn't good for the defense at all. I mean, slat on someone's grave, that's some up shit so would you tell the jury for the record what color the letters s-l-a-t-t -T, are written across your son's brain side uh it's green before you saw that did those letters have any significance to you personally no it did not did you ever see your son wearing those letters on any article of clothing that he 
No, ma'am, I did not. Did you ever see your son prominently displaying green attire at any particular time? No, I did not. Uh, we're looking at my son's uh, truck, his car. Uh, we're looking at my son's vehicle. And is that the driver's side of your son's vehicle? Yes, it is. So you can see the bullet holes right here. Yes, it is. Do you recall seeing the defects in the locations marked by the yellow and the white placards on your son's vehicle last time that you saw? Them? No, I did not. Donovan's older brother and him are biological brothers. No, don't take, I'm sorry, Kelvin and Mark Wavius are brothers through different, uh, well, same father, but different mothers. And what is the relationship of Kelvin and Mark Wavius? They're biological brothers. Do they have the same mom? They have the same mom, yes. All right. This shit's confusing, bro. Kelvin Watts was another member that gets, of IF gang, I believe, that gets involved in a lot of shit. So you said that Donovan and Kelvin are brothers. They're, um, I'm trying to tell you what word it. They're, um, do they have biological They don't have, no, no, they don't have the same blood, no. Do you remember the year that Rayshawn Ben Corlucci first visited your home with your son, Donovan? It was, it was around, um, 2014, the summer. The name, Jeffrey Williams. Yes. Trying to connect Thug to the murder. Here we go, boys. Jeffrey Williams ever come to your home with your son? No. Did you ever hear any music that referenced Browns in a Tahoe that caused you concern? Yes. How did you come about hearing music referencing Browns in a Tahoe? I'll, I'll stand there. Okay. What did you understand IF to stand for? Or for if I can make a difference. Did you get a different understanding after your son died? Yes, I did. Did your son ever bring anyone to your home by the name of Yuman Kendrick? No, not to my knowledge. Did your son ever bring anyone to your home by the name of Shannon Stillman? No, not to my knowledge. What about Shannon Jackson? No, not to my knowledge. Did your son ever bring anyone to your home by the name of Kenneth Cole? No, not to my knowledge. I think what Miss Love is doing there is showing the jury that these people weren't friends. Because Donovan never took them to his mother's house. The defense is going to paint the picture that these guys were actually friends and they weren't enemies. All right, Thugs lawyer Brian still up for cross. Ma'am, do you see what has been marked in entering evidence as Mr. Williams number 13 to your left? I knew he was going to try to make them look like they're friends, which they were friends at some point, but who knows what happened. This is still just shoddy work for the state. Like, they're not, like, show us the real evidence, bro. Like, this is just not real evidence to me. Um, is that your child in the white shirt? Yes, it is. And do you know the person that your child is with in that picture? Yes. And tell the ladies and gentlemen jury who that is. Um, that's Jeffrey Williams. You see on the top it says big business underscore entertainment or ENT underscore nut. Yes. And who do you recognize that um, Instagram handle? Yes, that was my son Instagram. Okay. Miss Love objecting to something defense wanted to show. This is caused like probably an hour delay. And if Mr. Kokomo can just blow this up a little bit. Do you recognize again the big business underscore entertainment underscore nut? Yes. And that's your son's Instagram account? Or yes. Social media account? Yes. All right. And then in this one, do you recognize the picture at the top? Do you know who that young man is? Yes. And who is that? Um, Jeffrey Williams. And then do you recognize in the center picture um, who that person is in the white? Oh, uh, yes. I think that's the artist work man. Okay. And then next to him, and it's also the bottom, so it's in the center, the young female. You see the person in the center, and then again on the bottom, you know who that is? You recognize who that I is? I do not. All right. Do you see the writings on it where it says... Um, Presents Rich Gang and YMC MB Flashy Lifestyle Episode 5 featuring Thugger and Paris Hilton. I see it, yes. Okay. So yeah, Brian Steele was trying to show connection that they were friends and they were doing uh, business together at some point. Yes, I was Burt Man. Okay. And then it says, you see it, YSL Entertainment and Club Crucial present Young Thug Celebrity Birthday Celebration. You see that? Yes, I do. And then underneath it, it's a little distorted, so I don't want to, if you could read it, that's fine, but I don't want to say something. You see what that says underneath it? Underneath uh, Celebrity Birthday Celebration? Yeah. Can you make that out? No, I can't. All right. And then it says the performer entertainer Birdman? Yes. And then it's Thursday, August 14th, 2000, uh, excuse me, August, Thursday, August 14th. At Club Crucial, and it gives the address. Fair to say. That's correct. And then at the bottom of your child's posting, you see that August 12, 2014. Yes. Did you know Jeffrey Williams' birth date is August 16, 2000? Objection, Your Honor. That's not in evidence. It has come into evidence already, Your Honor. State of birth is coming to evidence. Do you know when Jeffrey Williams' birthday is? I do not. If his birthday's already been brought up, it should honestly be allowed. But whatever. Do you recognize that gentleman to your in the picture in the white shirt? Yes, it's my son. Okay. And do you know who he's handshaking? Yes, that's an artist we told me Okay. And then, um, are you familiar with this song or this video? No, I'm not. Okay. Were you aware, and the jurors already saw it, you were Jeffrey Williams performs in this video, and if you don't, just say it. Yeah, I've seen it, yes. Okay, you're aware of that? Yes. You saw him in the video? Yes. Okay. Were you aware that Greedy was also in a music video with Jeffrey? No, I was not. No, I'm not. I'm the one on my right, um, with the, um, Red leather in the front, that's um, Donovan's brother, Greedy. Now, redirect, Miss Love is going to try to separate them and be like, they weren't friends and no one was friends after this murder. That's what she's going to try to do right here. Did you see your son with Jeffrey Williams after December of 2014? No, I did not. Do you know about conflict between Marquavius Curtis and members of a group called YSL after January of 2015? I heard the things that was just going on, you know. Jeffrey Williams or any other members of YSL post January 10th, 2015. Not to my knowledge. I'll sustain the objection, sir. 
was Marquavius Curtis cordial with Jeffrey Williams post January 10th, 2015. And that's it for Donovan Thomas's mother. State's just trying to establish uh, that YSL potentially killed guy, but does the jury believe that or not? Who knows? They're off all the rest of this week and next Monday. So court isn't for another like seven or eight days. And this Donovan Thomas murder is going to be a lot, a lot of time because I feel like a lot of witnesses are going to be coming up for this. So it's going to get wild because there's a lot of people involved. So hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, join the channel membership. It's only 10 cents per day. Love you guys. Peace out.